Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel No Networks. In this tutorial, we will see the backups in Checkpoint. There are several different types of backups you can perform in the Checkpoint Firewall depending upon your requirement. So just let me show you the different type of backups which we can perform on the Checkpoint Firewall. Let's see one by one. The very first thing which we will see is a database version or you can say a database revision control. Usually it takes less than 100 MB, only policy and objects are backed up. So let me explain you going to the smart console. Guys, whenever you are doing any kind of changes in the policy and when you try to save it or you add an object and you try to save it, that particular session is being saved as one of the file that is called as database revision control or a database version. So what, why, why it is important, how it is helpful to you. So let's say for example, you are working over here and all of a sudden accidentally you will delete something. You can recover that using a database revision. We will just uh, do a lab over here for the same and we will see that how the database revision is created, how you will make it helpful to recover your configuration. Before that, I will show you something about the database revision. Going to manage and setting over here in the sessions on the left pane, if you expand this, there is an option called revision. And guys, you can see over here till now, whatever changes you have done, like whenever you are doing any kind of change on through a smart console and you save it on the security management server that is being stored as a database revision control file over here with the name as admin at the date who is the publisher and how many changes were done in that particular session. So just make a note over here, like the last uh, dat database file which was generated was on 8th of August 2022 at 8.32 p.m. with change, change from previous, that is number one, only one change. What we are going to do over here is very first thing we will uh, do some changes and we will just do perform our lab where we will be doing some changes over here and we will see how the database revision is created and how we can make it helpful to recover okay so let's make one policy over here for the testing purpose we'll add a new rule sorry not policy rule over here below the internal rule and we will give the name as dmz to internet the source of what we are going to define will be let's say our web server which is in DMZ to internet and the port numbers will be the same which we want to open the internet that is HTTP, HTTPS and DNS. Action will be accept. Tracking will be just log the events and install it on the checkpoint gateway. We'll simply save it and install. Install the policy. Click on publish and install. Over here also you will see the session name which we have seen over there in the management setting under revision over here. The same thing it is shown. See if you would have taken care uh, in our earlier tut uh, tutorial also and even, even here. Whenever you are doing the changes it is changed and saved using a session name. If you want to add the description, you can add this, that as well. That is optional. But let's say, for example, uh, we will say for, for our remembrance, uh, like just to uh, for us to understand for our future reference, we can add the description. It is optional. Uh, we will say that uh, configured DMZ internet access. Simply say this is optional. I'm saying again, this is optional. You don't need to do it. But if for your future reference, if you want, you can publish and install. It is asking where we will say lab policy and you will click on install button. As you can see, the policy is successfully installed now. 
we will go to the database revision over here and you will see that this is our revision which is created after the change and if you remember for our reference we have added a description over here configured dmz internet access so that is also shown over here and going to advance it is nothing but it uh, says you about uh, we, we will see this later on when we will do the tutorial on session management and all for now just see the session name how it should be saved this is the format that's the reason it is giving you this format administrator name plus at the rate at date okay see this format is, is giving you over here so now coming to our topic you uh, have done the changes and now this uh, particular database revision is being saved over here let's say working over here accidentally you delete this rule dmz to internet let's delete it yes and install the policy publish and install click on lab policy and install it is successfully installed so guys everything was going fine accidentally you deleted dmz to internet policy and the problem started in your network and you didn't remember actually what was accidentally deleted but you have an option over here like recently you did changes right so this was the change done recently so earlier to this one till here it was working fine so how you will restore so it's very simple guys uh, what you have to do uh, see now I, I will show you again rule number four which was dmz to internet is deleted right so it's simple you will go here you know this was the rule which he created until here everything was working fine this was the change which created an issue so you will go to this till where it was working fine over here you will go you will right click over here you will go to action and simply you will say revert to this revision click on this revert to this revision once you do this a uh, window will open for you it is saying that to start and it is giving you the detail click on next button over here it will verify click on next the verification is completed click on next click on revert it will take some time Once it is done, click on finish. It is saying press OK to restart the smart console. Your smart console will restart. Click OK. And your smart console is restarting now. Give the password. So now our smart console is started what just close this pop-up and we'll just go to security and policies and verify that whether our changes are reverted back or not yet if you remember we have deleted dmz to internet policy that was rule number four that should come back now as you can see that 
the one which we deleted uh, we have restored using a database revision control dmc internet policy is back now so this is how guys database revision control or the database version works in checkpoint this is helpful to recover if you have accidentally deleted a policies or a network objects the second comes backup usually takes less than 1 gb and when you talk about backup os configurations and checkpoint database is backed up and the default location is given over here quickly we will move to the geo uh, and one more thing when i am talking about backup i will show you how you can take the, uh, take the backup using a web console as well as a command line in both the ways we will see how to take the backup very first we will go to the web gui open the browser and give the ip address of your gateway and let's take the login so guys to take the backup what you have to do is you have to go to under maintenance you have to go to system backup and going to system backup you will simply click on backup now over here either you can backup right away or you can schedule a backup so let's say for example you will say click on backup to backup it now it it is saying new backup where you want to backup this appliance it will show locally management it will push to the management server or you want to send the backup through scp server ftp server tftp we will say this appliance which means that you will be taking the backup locally click on backup button over here it is saying performing local backup and step is initializing it will provide you the status now as you can see the backup has finished successfully how much time it took and what type of the backup it was and where it is stored click ok and this was the backup which we have taken for now. So moving on, uh, we will see that how we will now restore the backup. Before that, let me show you how you can schedule the backup. Click on add schedule backup. You will give the name backup type. You will say that I want to backup to the local appliance and you will set the frequency whether you need daily weekly monthly and then time if you say daily you have to set the time weekly on which day and what time and if you say monthly then on which date and which month so i believe that i don't need to show this because it is straight away and very common thing you can schedule that now we will see how you can restore the backup right so before that what i will do this backup i have taken uh what i will do is let's say i will just i want to download it and keep it somewhere uh, or in my local machine i will click over here and i will click on export click on okay it is saying that you are about to download this file and it is a 40.69 gb so 40.69 mb file are you sure you want to continue click okay it will take some time and the download will begin as you can see over here the download has started and it's finished the file is downloaded now we will see that how we can make a use of this backup guys let's say for example you are working and accidentally you have deleted the static route from your machine let's delete this okay now the static route is deleted right and you are in trouble so now you have to recover so what you will do you will go to the system backup over here you already have taken the backup now let's say for example you have taken the backup and you have deleted this backup then in that case what you will do you will simply say click on import button and where you have stored the backup from there you will just download you will pick it up and you will click on import button finish the uh, it will be imported the appliance will reboot and the backup will be restored but for now when you will try this it will say that already you have the same fi file in the locally presence so 
it will give you the uh, it will say you that to take the file from the local it will give the precedence for the local rather than importing from outside since we have this locally presents what we will do we'll just click over here and we will say restore if uh, you have taken the backup and to just you know uh, you have cleaned this to avoid uh, the space utilization i mean uh, you, you you wish that uh, i have already taken the backup i will just store it somewhere and why unnecessary i should put the load on the gateway you will delete this in that case you can import it from outside but since you have the uh, local presence it won't allow you to take it from outside so in this case what you can do or even it can allow but the good practice is if you have internally you can do it but i have shown you how you can import simply click on import button browse the file import it and that's it finish now in the local presence you will click on the backup which you want to restore and you simply click on the restore button over here it is saying that you are about to restore your system the backup state this will require restarting your machine are you sure you want to proceed so click on ok button over here and the machine will reboot once it is restored so till the time it is restored and the machine is rebooted we have to wait now it has successfully imported and the system is restarting i mean the machine is rebooting so we have to wait for some time till the machine is rebooted you can check it in the CLI. yeah it's rebooting So guys as you can see now the system is restarted and we got our login page as well maybe some services in the backend are still starting so we have to wait for some more time yes I can see that the system has restarted now okay let me take you to the web gui and quickly we will verify then we will move to the cli configuration we will see that how you can backup from the cli So guys just to verify what we will do we will just go over there from where we have deleted the static root and we will see it should be restored over here in the ip st for static roots you can see that the root which we deleted is now restored right we will verify by just browsing the internet also and we should be able to browse the internet yes the internet also restored, which means the static root which we have deleted is restored using the backup the backup which we have taken now quickly let's move to the command line and we will over here check uh, see that how you will uh, add the backups using the command line we have completed with the web gui so the very first command which i will show you is show backups it will give you the list of backups this is how you will check now you will see that you already have two backups okay uh, why we did this 
just to verify that how many backups we have uh, so if the command is show backups now let's say for example guys you want to add a backup i mean you have you need to take the backup through a cli then the command is add backup and if you will just tap after the backup it will give you the option like whether you want ftp or local in the web gui you can see it was this machine it is same local or whether you want to push it to the management or scp or you want to take the backup through tftp we will say i want to take the backup through local and add backup local hit enter after giving the command add backup local as soon as you hit enter uh, it will say that creating the backup so in order to check the backup uh, what is the progress the command is show, back, show backup status it is saying that backup process finished in 10 seconds and the backup date it is giving even here it is giving you the backup file location with the file name right so guys now uh, you have seen that you how you will check the backup then we have seen that how you will take the backup the command was add backup local then to check the status it was show backup status and then finally you have taken the backup using the add backup local command right now if in case you want to restore the backup through the cli and you want to restore the same backup which you have taken now so the command is set backup restore from where from local right local after this just tab over here it will give you the list of backup which you have taken till now so it is giving you the name also cp gw up to and three backups it is showing the one which you have taken the name of that backup was 20 underscore 5 6 underscore 5 3 right so you will just write 5 over here and tap it has taken the name of the same backup which you have taken now so the command is set backup restore local backup and the name hit enter over here and it is now saying that after the restore operation is completed the system will restart itself so similarly what happened in GUI will happen over here over there also after the restore the machine rebooted even here after the system is restored using the backup the machine will restart and till the time the machine is restarted i will pause the video for the better experience so guys our machine is rebooted now and we are into the cli login page so this is how you will take the backup through a CLI and the way you will restore I have shown. And finally the last thing which we will move on is the image snapshot. So image snapshot takes more than 5 GB. It takes the entire OS partition and checkpoint database is backed up. As you have seen in database uh, version over there only the policies and objects were backed up. Where when uh, I talk about the backup. Uh, over there the OS configuration and the checkpoint database is backed up but in image snapshot it is a backup of the entire OS partition along with the checkpoint database and the default location is shown on the screen so let's move on and quickly take the image snapshot I will show you how to take the image snapshot on the left side pane over here under maintenance just below the system backup above the system backup there is a snapshot management right so click on a snapshot management over here guys i have to log in because my machine was rebooted right okay so let's continue on the left pane over here the place from where you have taken a system backup above that there is a snapshot management click on the snapshot management over here and there is an option that new so it also gives you that space and all in the downside if you will see it is giving you the space how much it is free it is saying 100% it is free there is nothing saved over here click on new button over here and you will give the name whatever name you want for the image snapshot I will say like let's say for example IMG image and i will give today date as 8 august 
आई एम जी एट ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू डिस्क्रिप्शन इट्स ऑप्शनल आई कैन गिव आई कैन नॉट इट्स ओके क्लिक ऑन ओके बटन ओवर हियर एंड यू कैन सी दैट स्नैपशॉट मैनेजमेंट इज स्टार्ट इट इज अराउंड सेवन पॉइंट फोर वन जी बी फाइल So guys, as you can see now, our image snapshot is completed over here. So the same uh, image snapshot which you have created, you can just export and download it in your local machine by click just see what I have. Let me show you again what I did. Uh, selected this one and then click on export button and click on start export. So it's saying that cannot export snapshot insufficient space in blah 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 okay fine there is a space issue not an issue uh, so this is how basically if you have a space and all you will cl click on export button and it will be exported additionally if uh, in case you want to just restore the snapshot and you have uh, stored it locally or let's say somewhere outside so you will simply click on import button and this image snapshot will be imported so that's all guys about the backup uh, configuration in checkpoint we have seen there are three alternate uh, ways from where you can back up the checkpoint as per your checkpoint firewall as per your requirement if you have accidentally deleted the policies or objects that's what you have to recover that you can recover from the database version or database revision control if uh, there is some configuration being deleted os config os level configuration or a checkpoint database that can be backed up using a backup uh from from the web gui and from the uh, cli also we have seen so system backup is usually used to recover the os configuration deleted files or a checkpoint database and finally we have seen an image snapshot which usually uh, back up the entire os partition and, and a checkpoint database basically it is the image file of your firewall so before we conclude let me just as usual what we do i will be writing down the commands uh, over here for your reference so these are the commands which we use in the cli for the system backup to check the backups available uh, the command was show backups then to take the backup through a cli the command was add backup and when you press the tab key you have an option uh, whether you want a local backup or you want to send it to the management server or you want to take the backup through ftp or tftp then uh, thereafter if you want to check the backup status the backup which is going on the command was show backup status and finally if you want to restore the backup through a cli the command was set backup restore since you have taken it from local uh, we have taken a local backup it was local or else if you have to take from management ftp tftp it is up to you and at finally after giving this local you have to write the backup name or which backup you want to restore so guys this is all about the backup of the checkpoint firewall if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel and do share with your friends thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial